welcome back and this parcel has arrived all the way from Sweden to Canada in just six days and I can't wait to put my hands on it and see what's inside the idea was taken from a Russian forum where I participate quite a bit one guy from St. Petersburg uh, Russia he owns a 2010 XC70 diesel his name is Max he did this installation on his XC70 and he added the subwoofer to his Volvo I did uh, follow his instructions and I placed an order from AliExpress uh, on these optical cables and other hardware from Volvo to complete the installation from my understanding the subwoofer wasn't an option here in North America but in Europe even though you can buy this uh, unit directly from Volvo and it's not gonna be cheap the installation process is gonna be not easy but hopefully well worth the time and money invested and I do like that this subwoofer is concealed right there under the floor OEM style the way it's supposed to be to complete the installation we must load software to let the car know that the subwoofer is now present in the vehicle and again d5t5.com comes in to help with Vidash I will be able to do that like I did oil engine optimization the TFT cluster installation and the trailer module all these videos are available and these guys are awesome this is where I purchased the subwoofer from Sweden. This is the website. I will uh, include the link in the description below so you can check out yourself. Just type in the search box the part number that you're interested in and the website will show you available uh, sellers for that particular part. And here we can see different sellers offering the same subwoofer for different prices. I got a pretty good deal I found one for only 1000 Swedish krons as you can see the cheapest one is 2500 krons right now plus shipping and it, the shipping wasn't cheap I paid total 2500 Swedish krons which comes to around 290 US dollars including shipping and it got to my home in just six days that's awesome the subwoofer available from the dealer and it's gonna come to 1000 Canadian dollars so this is three times more expensive let's get into the unboxing here my little guys Eric and Oscar are helping me out to Five unbox And I do apologize for the background noise, but the kids are going crazy. Оскар, выбери ножницы сюда, пожалуйста. This unit came of a 2010 V70 diesel in Sweden and I thank that car for the sacrifice. It's a pretty heavy and bulky sub. Here are the part numbers and it's made in Hungary. The subwoofer comes with its own amplifier on the side bolted on and the amplifier is marked as made in China here we see the power cable and the optical cable connector which are on order the amplifier made in China and no other signs of who manufactures the unit the weight 11.5 kilograms or 25 pounds I am extremely curious to see what's inside so let's take it apart once all the screws and the brackets removed I started to carefully pry the two parts apart 
and it wasn't easy I was afraid to break something but finally it gave Once it's cracked open, it reveals a simple but sophisticated design. Hopefully it sounds just as great as it looks. The plastic is very thick. Inside we can see two drivers with pretty significant size of magnet. On the magnet there is a sticker with numbers which uh, gave nothing when I googled those numbers. If you have an idea who manufactures the unit, please comment below and let me know. The least we can do is uh, take some measurements and check the impedance, how many ohms each driver is. We're gonna do that next around the perimeter and on the magnets you can see this sticky foam which uh, makes a good seal between the two pieces of plastic this is what made very hard to take the two pieces apart this uh, surrounding foam we'll continue with the disassemble here And here they are, the two drivers from uh, the other side, surrounded by a thick rubbery surrounding, very very stiff speaker, and it doesn't show its age at all. This is uh, already probably 11 or 12 years old, but honestly the speakers look like brand new. The magnet is around 4 inches wide in diameter and the actual driver is five and a quarter there is some letters and numbers on the plastic stamped no idea what it means and now let's check the impedance each driver is four ohm and by looking at the wiring it looks like they are connected parallel to the amplifier, not in series. Let's put everything back together like it was. I'm pretty confident that this is the only video on YouTube that shows the internals of the P3 subwoofer from inside. And of course, let's take a look inside the amp, a few screws.
and this reveals the internals and again there is no stamping on who manufactures the unit the only thing that it's made in China the amplifier will get its power from the main amplifier under the seat in the XC70 as per schematics uh, from Volvo the optical cable will make uh, the signal connection between uh, uh, the sub amp to the audio amp under the seat this was just part one of two I wanted to show you here the unboxing some info on the sub and the internals of it so coming fall or winter I will post a video of the installation and how the subwoofer sounds in my XC70 thank you guys and I'll see you next time bye bye